What if one of the most common breakfast foods is actually one of the healthiest things you can eat? For decades, we've been told to avoid eggs. We've all heard the warnings. Eggs are loaded with cholesterol and will clog your arteries, leading to heart disease. People started throwing away the most nutritious part of the egg, the yolk, believing they were making a heart-healthy choice. But what if that entire premise was wrong? In this video, we are going to crack open this long-held belief and challenge everything you thought you knew about eggs. By the end of this, you'll have a new framework for thinking about your health, your food, and the very nature of scientific truth itself. In this episode, we're going on a myth-busting journey together. We will start at the very beginning, diving into the history of how this fear of cholesterol even started. You'll learn about the influential yet deeply flawed research from a scientist named Ansel Keys, whose work set the stage for the low-fat craze that swept the nation and the world. We will investigate how his seven-country study selectively used data to draw a straight line between dietary fat, cholesterol, and heart disease, a conclusion that we now know was a massive oversimplification of a much more complicated reality. We won't stop there. We'll then look at how these initial ideas were reinforced by other major studies, like the famous Framingham Heart Study, and how they became cemented in official dietary guidelines. This is where the story gets really interesting, as we uncover the problems with this old science. We'll discuss how correlation was confused with causation, a critical mistake in nutritional research. You'll be shocked to see how easily data can be misinterpreted, and how long these outdated ideas can persist, even in the face of new contradictory evidence from more robust studies. Next, we'll fast forward to the modern era of nutrition science to see what the latest and most comprehensive research says. This includes large-scale meta-analyses, studies of studies, that have re-examined the link between eating eggs and heart disease. Spoiler alert, they found no significant connection for the vast majority of people. We'll cover the landmark 2015 shift in the U.S. dietary guidelines when the government finally dropped its long-standing cap on dietary cholesterol, a move that signaled a massive change in scientific consensus, even if the public hasn't fully caught up yet. Finally, we'll move beyond just busting myths and start building a better understanding of what truly drives heart disease. It's not about avoiding egg yolks. We'll talk about the real culprits, inflammation and oxidation, and how certain foods and lifestyle factors contribute to them. I'll show you studies suggesting that eggs may actually have anti-inflammatory benefits and how they fit into a truly heart-healthy diet. By the end of our journey, you'll be equipped with the knowledge to confidently enjoy eggs as the nutritional powerhouses they are. Let's get started. Let's look at what's inside this small oval package. An egg is often called nature's multivitamin, and for very good reason. It's a self-contained ecosystem packed with essential nutrients. A single large egg contains about 77 calories, with 6 grams of high-quality complete protein. The yolk is where most of the magic happens, a treasure trove of vitamins and minerals. Eggs are a fantastic source of vitamin D, vitamin A, vitamin E, and several B vitamins. The yolk is one of the best dietary sources of choline, an essential nutrient that plays a vital role in brain health. Eggs also contain antioxidants like lutein and zeaxanthin, which are incredibly beneficial for eye health. When you throw away the yolk, you are literally throwing away the most nutritious part of the egg. This is the complete nutritional profile we need to keep in mind as we unravel the story of how this food became so feared. For decades, cholesterol has been portrayed as artery-clogging sludge, but this is a massive oversimplification. Cholesterol is essential for survival. Your body cannot function without it. Your liver produces most of it. Cholesterol is a building block for cell membranes. It's also the precursor to vitamin D, steroid hormones, and bile acids. Dietary cholesterol has little impact on blood cholesterol for most people. When you eat more, your liver produces less. This turns old advice on its head. The fear wasn't based on human physiology, instead it was born from a flawed observation. The fear of cholesterol began in the early 1900s. A Russian pathologist Nikolai Onichkow experimented with rabbits to understand atherosclerosis. He fed them high doses of cholesterol, leading to plaque buildup in their arteries. Onichkow concluded that dietary cholesterol directly caused atherosclerosis. But rabbits aren't humans, they can't process cholesterol. This flawed study became the base for the idea that dietary cholesterol was dangerous. It shaped decades of misguided nutrition policies and public fear. 
Ansel Keys brought the cholesterol theory into the public consciousness. In the mid-20th century heart disease rates were skyrocketing in the United States. Keyes hypothesized that dietary fat, particularly saturated fat, caused heart disease. Keyes embarked on his now infamous Seven Countries study. This study looked at the diets and heart disease rates of nearly 13,000 middle-aged men in seven different countries. When Keyes published his findings, the correlation seemed undeniable. The results were presented as a clear, linear graph showing that as fat intake went up, so did deaths from heart disease. Key's study received enormous media attention and he became a major public health figure. However, the Seven Country study was plagued with problems. The most glaring issue was selection bias. He selectively chose to include only the countries whose data supported his preconceived hypothesis. Despite flaws, the diet-heart hypothesis gained unstoppable momentum. Ansel Key's narrative captured policymakers and the public. The American Heart Association embraced his findings, issuing dietary guidelines advising Americans to reduce saturated fat and cholesterol. This marked the start of the low-fat era, creating a seismic shift in the food industry. Supermarket aisles filled with low-fat products. To make these palatable, manufacturers replaced fat with sugar, refined carbohydrates, and processed vegetable oils. The public believed these processed products were healthier, the government endorsed this in 1977, culminating in the food guide pyramid. The base recommended breads, cereals, rice, and pasta. At the top were fats, oils, and sweets. This low-fat dogma became deeply entrenched. Challenging it questioned the entire medical and nutritional establishment, making counter-evidence difficult to be heard. While Ansel Keys made headlines, the Framingham Heart Study began in 1948. It aimed to identify factors contributing to cardiovascular disease. A key finding linked high blood cholesterol to heart disease, aligning with Key's diet-heart hypothesis. The message, high cholesterol causes heart disease. Doctors advised low-fat, low-cholesterol diets, but surprisingly the study also revealed no direct link between dietary cholesterol and blood cholesterol levels. This finding was largely ignored, overshadowed by the focus on blood cholesterol. We've seen how Ansel Keys and the Framingham study built a narrative against dietary fat. But to understand why this was wrong, we need to look at what these studies missed. There were fundamental problems in how the data was collected and interpreted. The focus on single nutrients ignored the bigger picture. Ansel Keys' seven country study cherry-picked data. This is a classic case of confirmation bias. It was a manipulation of data that sent nutrition science down the wrong path. Early studies failed to account for crucial confounding variables like smoking and lifestyle. This also ignored the quality of food. The studies didn't differentiate between natural fats and processed foods. This lack of nuance was a colossal error. One of the most important principles in science is, correlation does not equal causation. Just because two things appear related doesn't mean one causes the other. For example, ice cream sales and shark attacks both increased during the summer. Does eating ice cream cause shark attacks? Of course not. This fallacy was at the heart of the case against eggs and saturated fat. Observational studies could only ever show a correlation. To prove causation, you need much more controlled experiments. This is a huge problem in nutrition science even today. Headlines are almost always based on observational studies showing correlation, not causation. If the science was so flawed, you might be wondering why these low-fat, anti-cholesterol guidelines remained the official advice for so long. Why didn't we correct the course sooner? Well, the answer is complex and involves a mixture of scientific inertia, institutional reputation, and powerful economic interests. Once an idea becomes deeply embedded in the medical establishment and public policy, it develops a life of its own. It's kind of like trying to turn around a massive cargo ship. It doesn't happen quickly even when you know you're headed in the wrong direction. The system was built on this dogma. First, there was institutional commitment. Organizations like the American Heart Association and government bodies like the USDA had built their reputations on the diet-heart hypothesis. They had spent decades and millions of dollars promoting the low-fat message to the public. To suddenly reverse course and say, sorry, we were wrong about fat and cholesterol, would be a massive blow to their credibility. Scientists who had built their entire careers on this research were resistant to change. It's just human nature to defend one's life's work. And the scientific community is not immune to ego and bias. Second, the food industry had a huge financial stake in the low-fat paradigm. 
Billions of dollars were invested in creating, marketing, and selling low-fat and non-fat products. An entire sector of the economy was built on replacing natural fats with cheap sugar, refined grains, and industrial seed oils. This created a powerful lobby that had a vested interest in maintaining the status quo. The message to fear fat was incredibly profitable. Admitting that fat wasn't the enemy would disrupt this multi-billion dollar industry. So, the message was continuously reinforced through advertising and product placement. Finally, the message was simple. And simple messages are sticky. Eat less fat is easy to understand. Avoid cholesterol is a clear directive. The true story of nutrition, which involves complex interactions between genes, lifestyle, food quality, inflammation, and metabolic health, is much harder to distill into a catchy soundbite. It was easier for doctors to give simple advice and for people to follow simple rules, even if those rules were wrong. It took decades of new, higher-quality research, including many randomized controlled trials and large meta-analyses, to build a case strong enough to finally challenge and overturn this entrenched but deeply flawed scientific dogma. For decades the case against dietary cholesterol and by extension the egg appeared closed. But science is a dynamic process of questioning, testing and revising. As we entered the 21st century a new wave of researchers began to re-examine old dogmas. Armed with better technology and more sophisticated study designs, they started to ask tough questions. The evidence began to mount, pointing to flaws in foundational studies and the low-fat, anti-cholesterol paradigm. Scientists began conducting more rigorous randomized controlled trials. These trials produced surprising results. For most participants, eating whole eggs daily didn't negatively impact blood cholesterol. What mattered more was the type and size of cholesterol particles. Eating eggs often raised HDL, the good cholesterol. The net effect was often neutral or beneficial. The tide was finally beginning to turn. For decades, official dietary guidelines clung to outdated science, warning against dietary cholesterol. The U.S. dietary guidelines capped cholesterol at 300 mg per day, making two eggs for breakfast a supposed health risk. This advice lagged far behind scientific research, which showed cholesterol in food wasn't a major concern for most people. In 2015, everything changed. The Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee reviewed the evidence and dropped the cholesterol limit. Their report stated there's no significant link between dietary cholesterol and blood cholesterol. This was a direct rejection of the old cholesterol heart disease hypothesis. The new guidelines shifted focus from single nutrients to overall dietary patterns, encouraging vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and healthy proteins. Yet the fear of cholesterol persists among the public and some professionals, despite the official record now being set straight. The science finally caught up with the policy. Meta-analyses, studies of studies, offer the clearest answers on eggs and heart health. A 2013 British medical journal, meta-analysis of over half a million people, found no link between eating up to one egg per day and heart disease or stroke. Another 2020 Global Review confirmed no significant association between egg intake and blood lipids, mortality, or cardiovascular events. These massive studies represent the highest level of evidence. The decades-long fear of eggs was based on flawed science. Eggs have been exonerated by the best available research. The real question isn't, are eggs safe? But, what truly drives heart disease? Science has set the record straight. If cholesterol isn't the main culprit, what is? Modern science points to chronic inflammation and oxidative stress as the real drivers of heart disease. Inflammation is your body's natural repair response but when it becomes chronic, it damages arteries. Poor diet, lack of exercise, stress and smoking all fuel this low-grade inflammation. Oxidative stress, caused by free radicals, damages cells, especially LDL particles. LDL isn't bad until it's oxidized, then it triggers an immune response and inflammation in artery walls. The process starts with injury to the artery lining, often from high blood sugar or blood pressure. Small, dense LDL particles get trapped, become oxidized, and attract immune cells. This forms plaque, the real threat behind heart attacks. Cholesterol is present in plaque, but it's not the root cause, it's a responder to injury and inflammation. The focus should be on preventing arterial injury, not just lowering cholesterol. Understanding this shifts the conversation from cholesterol to the true villain's inflammation and oxidation. The science is clear, addressing these factors is key to heart health. It's time to update our thinking. 
The real dietary threat to arteries isn't fat, it's sugar and refined carbs. Foods like white bread and sugary drinks spike blood sugar, causing repeated surges of insulin. High blood sugar damages artery linings and creates harmful compounds called ages, fueling inflammation and oxidative stress. Chronically high insulin promotes fat storage, high blood pressure, and the formation of dangerous small dense LDL particles. This perfect storm leads to plaque buildup and heart disease. Eggs, by contrast, contain almost no carbs and don't spike blood sugar or insulin. Choosing eggs for breakfast helps stabilize blood sugar and reduce inflammation. The food we were told to fear is actually protective for our arteries. Rethink your breakfast. Your heart will thank you. Standard cholesterol tests only tell part of the story. Advanced lipid panels measure LDL particle number and size, better predictors of heart risk than total cholesterol. Small, dense LDL particles are more dangerous than large, fluffy ones. Inflammation markers like HSCRP reveal hidden arterial damage. APOB gives a precise count of atherogenic particles. Tests for fasting insulin and HbA1c show how well your body manages blood sugar, key for heart health. These tests shift the focus from cholesterol to the real risks inflammation, particle number and metabolic health. Ask your doctor for these advanced tests for a true picture of your heart risk. Don't rely on outdated numbers. Modern science offers better tools for prevention. With the myths dismantled, let's celebrate the egg for what it is a nutritional powerhouse. Eggs are packed with high-quality protein, healthy fats, vitamins, minerals, and unique compounds that support health. Choline in eggs reduces inflammation and supports brain health. Studies show eggs can lower inflammatory markers even in people with diabetes. Antioxidants like lutein and zeaxanthin protect against oxidative stress, a key driver of heart disease. Eggs fit perfectly into an anti-inflammatory blood sugar stabilizing diet. Far from being harmful, eggs actively support heart and metabolic health. Eating whole eggs delivers a synergy of nutrients that protect your body. The egg deserves its place as a true nutritional champion. Understanding the science is the first step, but turning that knowledge into action is what truly matters for your health. First, reintroduce eggs into your diet. Eating one to three eggs per day is perfectly fine. Pair your eggs with foods that support your health like vegetables and avocado. Be vigilant about avoiding industrial trans fats and excessive sugar. Shift your focus to your overall dietary pattern. Embrace a wide variety of whole, unprocessed foods. It's a more holistic, effective, and more delicious way to eat for a long and healthy life. We have traveled on an incredible journey, venturing deep into the history and science behind one of the most persistent nutrition myths of our time. Are eggs truly a danger to our hearts? For decades, the answer was a resounding yes, a warning built on flawed studies and a misunderstanding of how our bodies regulate cholesterol. This changed the very food on our grocery store shelves and the advice we received from our doctors. We learned that the cholesterol you eat has very little to do with the cholesterol levels in your blood. The low-fat revolution, fueled by biased science, led us to replace healthy natural fats with processed sugars and refined carbohydrates. Modern science has decisively shown that for most people, eating eggs does not increase the risk of heart disease. The egg is not the enemy. Heart disease is a story of chronic inflammation and oxidative stress, driven by diets high in sugar and trans fats. By understanding these mechanisms, we can focus on what truly matters for protecting our cardiovascular health. This journey is about questioning health advice. It's important to understand the science for ourselves. My goal is to give you the confidence to enjoy nutrient-dense whole foods without fear, and to build a diet that truly nourishes your body. Embrace eggs as the nutritional champions they are. I've created free resources for you including a protein calculator and a PDF guide summarizing key takeaways. You can find the links in the description below. This is for educational purposes and not medical advice. Work with a healthcare professional who understands your health situation. The power to build a healthy life rests in your hands. Enjoy your food with confidence and joy. Like this video if you found it valuable, subscribe for more content, and share it with others. Stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.